As a patrol captain, your primary role is to help people have an enjoyable and safe time at the beach. A vigilant, coordinated patrol team can handle most situations, but what would you do if something went wrong? Would you know what to do in an emergency? How prepared would you be if an emergency were to occur? When a critical incident unfolds, minutes matter, but it is important to stay calm, assess the situation and assign your resources effectively. A mother approaches the patrol concerned that her daughter is missing after her surfboard washed ashore. Her husband went in search of the girl and has not returned either. The first step is to collect as much information as you can about the person that's missing. Where were they last seen? Were they in the water or on the land? A general description including what they were wearing, age, gender and name, where they were last seen and if in the water, what is their swimming ability and could they be anywhere else? Keep the informant close. A designated patrol member needs to remain with them throughout the search operation while the patrol captain manages the incident. Providing reassurance to family during a critical incident is important. Gather all patrol members for a briefing. Effective communication is vital so that everyone understands their role. It is important you assign the members of your team to the most appropriate tasks based on their skills. Notify SURFCOM using the four P's and request police assistance. SURFCOM may also task other assets to help the search, including a helicopter or drone, and request a duty officer to attend. Send someone to mark the last known location of the missing person. Lower the flags as you will be unable to monitor the bathing area while the search is underway. Evacuating swimmers from the water will assist you to perform a thorough search and allow rescue craft to be launched. Assign a patrol member with binoculars to a tower or a high vantage point. Have roving patrol members search the shoreline on foot or using a patrol vehicle. Commence a water-based search using your available assets. Mark the last known location with an anchored buoy or tube while an IRB or RWC performs a standard in-water search pattern. Fortunately, the missing child is located and returned to shore safe and well. Patrol members tasked with providing first aid can take over. Rescue assets can return to the water to continue searching for the missing father. Throughout the incident, use the resources available to assist you to manage and coordinate the response, including the standard operating procedures and your club's patrol operations manual. Regularly update the incident log and keep SURFCOM informed of your progress. In most cases, a duty officer will be able to assist you in managing the incident. Provide them with a complete brief. They can support your search effort in many ways, such as taking on the task of communicating with SURFCOM and liaising with emergency services. If the search effort is prolonged, you need to consider fatigue management and request additional support or rotate patrol members onto different tasks. Resist the urge to become actively involved in a search or first aid treatment. Your role is to coordinate and manage your team and assets to achieve the best possible outcome for everyone. The IRB crew radio in that they have found the missing father. Instruct qualified patrol members to administer first aid as required or hand the patient over to paramedics if they are on scene. An operational debrief conducted by the duty officer should take place with the patrol team as soon as the incident is over. The welfare of your members is critical. SURFCOM will require the names of all members involved in the incident and can assist with any follow-up and arrange counselling services if required. Congratulations! Under your direction, your patrol team has worked together to bring about a successful outcome.